Okay, so it is 9.30 on March 29th, and we have just signed our contract agreement and paid the earnest money for the home that we're about to move into. I am cleaning out all my kitchen drawers. These are all my junk drawers. Oh my gosh, these are all documents that I don't use. I am wick testing candles right now. Excuse the mess, guys. I am straightening up. I'm wick testing candles. I am cleaning my kitchen, washing dishes. I have so, so, so much going on. And I'm starting to pack. Our closing is in 21 days. So that's fun. I have to go down and put my notice in to my apartment complex. They require a 60 day notice. So I have to give them 60 day notice, even though we will be out in 30 days. Also, I have orders to do, but not, I don't have a lot of orders, but since I've been doing my wholesale program, they have been pretty large orders. So I have about seven large orders to do, um, which I'm trying to make time for that. So what I'm gonna do is finish packing and then I'm going to go get some food. I'm really into the spicy green beans at P.F. Chang's right now, so that's my thing. And then I'm going to come back clean my office because it looks crazy clean my office and then work and try to get all seven orders done today so that i can get that out of the way and i can sit down and write my educational courses so yeah i'll keep you guys posted throughout this next three weeks this is so exciting i wanted to show you guys this really quick i had got this cabinet paper um to make my cabinets white and black they are originally gray like you can see the inside of that door they're actually originally this color i never ended up doing my island um, and they were perfect for when I was doing crafts. So like you can see here, this is my pigment section. So I have all my pigments in here and this literally like wipes right off. So like any pigments that I would get stuck like right here, all I have to do is just take a, a cloth and wipe it right off. And it comes off without any residue and it doesn't leave any marks. So yeah, I'm gonna put an Amazon link for these because this was a really great rental hack if you want to change your cabinet colors. Okay, y'all, so I am currently at the Restoration Hardware Outlet in North Georgia. There's like a whole bunch of little stuff over here, and then I'm going to go to the actual outlets over here as well. Let's go see what kind of pricing they have, because for me, I don't even know. I, I know I need some new stuff for the house. I'm looking specifically at couches and just decor, they're supposed to be like discounted here, but I've been hearing mixed reviews about it. So we shall see. All right, cool. So here's the couch that I like. I found a couple of things in here. And it is on sale. So I'm thinking about this one, but then I saw one on the other end too that I liked as well. Oh, and I did want to show you this table. So this table is like a marble coffee table and I like it, but I needed gold. So what did you think about that? What about this table? Mm. I didn't like any of the rugs in here. So I'm gonna go look at West Elm for that as well as there were a couple of mirrors that I like to hear. And these light fixtures were nice too. What do you think about this light fixture? Oh, it's the wrong mounting point on it. It's nice though. And then there's just these mirrors over here. This is a really nice garment, but it has no drawer, so that's why it's on sale. But this would be cool for outside. Oh, things are stuck to the back. It was originally $1,200, now it's $80. Okay, so I'm at the rest of the outlets that are around the corner. I'm about to go look at West Elm, Pottery Barn, and William Sonoma. So I'll keep you guys posted on if I find anything.
Okay, so I'm in the West Elm outlet and I am excited because it's 40% off everything. So, like this coffee table is perfect and it's originally $314 and it's 40% off of this. Oh my gosh, I might have to get this. Um, I'm looking at outdoor furniture. I am looking at like, things like this, like these credenzas. I wanted extra. And then, like, even things like these dining tables, it's 40% off. So that's what the discounts here look like. I'm trying to find, oh, I like these mirrors up here a lot. I'm trying to find things I like. Again, definitely leaning towards outdoor items, but they have housewares too, so I'm going to see if I want to pick up a couple of these since I'm over here, or if I just want to come back. So, yeah. And there's no price tag on it. It's giving me a little space. So, ooh, let me get my toe out then. My bad, y'all. My toes look horrible. I just need to go get a pedicure. I should get a pedicure, huh? What's today? Sunday? Today's Sunday, April 11th. On my patio. I don't really mind showing you guys my patio at this point because I won't be living here by the time this video is posted. Right here is one of my planners um, that I was expecting to release. Who is it be? Okay, it went away. Here's one of my planners. I printed this out myself. Oops, somebody's going to loud. Is that car even? Nine times out of ten, that car don't even look like it's supposed to be like that. Oh no, it's a um, it's a motorcycle. It's busy. I live in the Brave Stadiums right now, um, and it's busy because it's about to be a game, and it's nice outside. But yeah, here is a planner that I'm launching today. So much has happened since I filmed, and. I'm not gonna edit any of this out, but I'm really tired, y'all. Fun fact is, okay, first off, there's a beat. Fun fact is that one of my drums is out here. The other one's in the house. When I move, I can finally get rid of them. But yeah, this planner I'm launching today, I was gonna actually get it printed professionally. I just didn't like dealing with China. So I decided to go ahead and give it to people as a digital download. And I'm gonna probably by this time already have a video up of me showing people how to use it but it is um, a dedication to my friend that passed away. And it just has like your mission statement, important information, things like that. So quick update, since I've been, I'm gonna flip you guys just to look out right here. Since I've last seen y'all, I had a really bad hairstylist experience. This has all happened in the past week. I had a bit bad hairstylist experience and then I went to go look at furniture at Crate and Barrel at Lennox Mall, I'm in Atlanta, and I got rear-ended. Um, if y'all don't know, I have a new vehicle. It's a 2021 GLC Mercedes. And yeah, I got rear-ended and my car is in the shop right now. And um, the right side of me is really sore. And the, the um, person who hit me, they actually got their car two days before they hit me and they don't have any insurance. So my insurance is gonna be the one that's covering it. It was like $4,000 um, in body damage, plus um, my medical bills, cause I have to go to physical therapy. So that was fun. And then I had, you know, family problems and I'm not even gonna lie, like I went through a really intense heartbreak. So it's, I'm exhausted y'all. <laughs> um, we are 19 days away from closing right now. Still, I mean 18 actually, it still should be the 29th. So I'm just trying to stay alive, I'm not even gonna lie, and push through. I've launched two products in the past week, the Yoni Oil, and now this planner, and then upcoming I have scrubs, and I also have bath bombs, which I'm still fighting my humidity levels, and all balancing this in between a move, as well as the accident, and the fact that I'm limping on the right side, and you know dealing with personal issues so this is what it looks like behind closed doors 
and yeah um it's not always the easiest and it sucks and the person that i really want to talk to is no longer physically here and it's just difficult for me to navigate through this but the fun part is i had a reminder in my phone for later this month um one year ago when the pandemic started i had on my old phone i don't have the videos anymore because my old phone got deleted i mean well broken and my all my videos got deleted which sucks because i had videos of me and my friend that i'll never get back but this time last year i made a video saying in one year my life would change completely and i was on why well, at the time i didn't even get unemployment i was running around delivering groceries i just got you know i just left my job um and then i had to stop delivering because of the pandemic and i'm have autoimmune disease so I was a high risk individual and at the time they didn't want us wearing masks because they didn't want us to scare people so they were knowingly exposing us to COVID and being essential workers and so I had to choose to not have income and yeah I said in one year my life would completely change um and as y'all know may or may or may not know that in June June 26th I <gasps> I just realized what that date meant <laughs> June 26th is the day I launched my business and wow it's the day I launched my business and I made a couple thousand but not a lot and then I switched to wholesale in September September 23rd 2020 and since then I have done almost $60,000 in sales and that's not including whatever I'm about to hit tonight because I know it's about to go crazy so yeah it's just i spoke everything i thought i would have into existence but i'm not even gonna lie it came with a lot of costs like in order for me to like this planner idea i feel like my friend gave to me and now he's not here and then the person that pushed me um to be you know on my money and on my grind i'm not even on really good talking terms with them so be careful what you ask for but in positive news i got approved for my ppp loan so i had like sixteen thousand that i received and i got an eidl grant advance from the ten thousand that's supposed to give us they only gave me one and i just got the application to get the other nine thousand dollars that the sba owes me so that's cool um so at least i can afford the move and i can get my own furniture and cash because i wanted to do that and invest it my goal is after um, the company takes off more, especially with my digital products and my courses that I'm trying to launch by the 30th of April. It's so hard. Getting out of bed is so hard. But I'm going to start investing into stocks and things like that. Um, and just the long, long term investments, putting money in my Roth IRAs. Um, I don't really buy designer, I don't buy a lot of nice things. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know when I'll check back in. Probably, maybe after my numbers. I don't know. No, we'll see how I feel. So, peace. Hey, y'all. When you press this button, magic happens. I haven't had a garage in so long. I've been in apartments for a really long time. And there's my baby. Look at her. She's just all shining and pretty because they watched her at the dealership yesterday. So this video that was my fancy intro y'all know i'm not a fancy youtuber at all so here's the house we closed on april 29th 2021 on april 20th 2020 i'm sorry april 28th 2020 i told myself that i was going to do a 180 with my life this is the complete 180 exactly one year and one day later we closed on this house one year ago i was living in a one bedroom apartment um but i actually was quarantining in my parents house a couple states up because of the pandemic i was unable to work because i was a high risk individual i have autoimmune disease and i told myself i was not going to be living paycheck to paycheck anymore and i was going to come out this pandemic stronger and i did exactly what i said i was going to do so this is my new car i got this in like two months ago three months ago today's may 1st so i got this at the end of january so i've had it for a little bit um, it's a 2021 GLC. She actually just got out the body shop because I did get rear-ended. So during this video, I'm going to be a little slow walking through the house um, because I'm still limping from the accident. But 
This is actually in my business name. This is in Crystal Glow Cosmetics. So it's a complete tax write-off. I might do a video on that. These are my soap shells um, that I usually kept in my secondary bathroom in my old apartment. Um, and I'm debating on if I wanna make this my workspace in this garage, or if I just wanna go ahead and get an industrial space. But I don't know if you guys ever seen inside the car. Sorry, my car is like really shiny. Y'all know I don't show my face, but it's super nice in here. It's super cute. So this car is definitely a lifesaver because I'm able to fit more in here. So let me close the garage and I'm gonna take you guys to the house. So the house is four levels, but the top level is actually a rooftop deck. Um, it's brand new construction. So I have half of my stuff down here and the other stuff in my apartment because I still don't have internet. Um, we just got the keys like two days ago and Comcast is having a hard time finding us. So this is my temporary office setup. Um, once I figure out if I want to move into the garage, this is the garage door. Or if I want to move into an industrial space, I'm gonna take this out and my grandfather will be moving down here at the end of the summer, early fall, and this will be his bedroom. It has a own little private, um, private patio space. And yeah, small little tiny, tiny closet. They consider this a bedroom, though this technically doesn't have a door, so he hates barn doors, but there's really not any other option. And there's a spider. Oh, there's another spider. Y'all, this new construction, it's not my first time doing new construction. It's just spider haven. So yeah, this is the um, secondary bathroom downstairs. It has a full shower, full tub, toilet. I don't like these shower heads and I have a very specific brand that I like from Amazon. Um, it's like $13. If I can find it, I'll link it below. I bought it for every apartment and it makes low water pressure like so Hi, it is amazing. I love, I love, I love that shower head. I'll try to make sure I include it in the description. So yeah, I'm gonna go take you guys upstairs. This is technically our front door, um, but we really entered through the garage and yeah, bear with me all. Again, I'm limpy, but I'm gonna try to get through as much as I can. It's gonna echo in here because there's no furniture and a lot of stuff is delayed due to COVID, or it's hard to hear about COVID. But here is the secondary bathroom, and it has a little half bath up here. And here is the main floor plan. Let me go ahead and go slow, and I'll give you guys like a panoramic view from the other end. This is my kitchen. It's used a mess, not really a mess, but um, I'm undoing or unloading some of my stuff in my pantry. I have a small walk-in pantry. And then I have like another storage closet. So if you back up, you'll be able to see both. And then this is the overall view of my living, dining, and kitchen. And here's the kitchen. It has a lot of cabinets. And it's like a two-tone, which I like a lot. Our fridge is coming on Thursday, as well as our washer and dryer. If you live near a Best Buy outlet, go there. We got our fridge $700 because it was open box. $700 off and, um, sticker price. So we got it for a thousand, but it was really like 18. And I can't wait to get the fridge. It has like a built-in water dispenser inside and it's really big. It's 28 cubic square feet. I mean, 28 cubic feet and it's a Samsung. Um, and then we got our washer and dryers for like 1200 for the pair. So we got all of our appliances for under 3000. So definitely check out Best Buy's outlet if you can. So I have cabinets, they have soft clothes. And then we have nice Bosch electric range. Um, unfortunately there was no gas in this and I was a little sad about that because it was like, dang, I really want gas, but they didn't have any units um, in this area or in Atlanta <laughs> that had gas left in our price range. We got very lucky with this house because the first time I came, it was a week before we actually put an offer in. Um, that house had sold. Let me show you guys this so you can hear me talk. That house had actually sold. The next week, this, this house went up 10000 more in a week. 
um, and they had no more end units. I am in a middle unit, which I was sad about, but the lady showed me this one. They had six left, and this is the brightest one they had. Like the floors are really bright, and the other units, they were really, really dark. So, um, yeah, I got really lucky because now um, over here, they're going to be building more homes all the way through here, and they are going already for $40,000 more than what we paid for. So we already got $40,000 in equity, and we haven't even moved in yet. So that is the Atlanta housing market, y'all. So if you were in Atlanta, I pray for you because uh, it was so difficult. So I'm going to have a dining table here. This is my dining room. Love the light fixture, but I am going to have to move it over so it can be centered underneath the table. And I also sort of want to spray it gold. Um, I actually really like these pendant lights because they're just so minimal that they go with everything. So I'm excited that um, I don't really have to commit to that certain style. I mean, it's modern, but I think I'm going to have like some pretty acrylic chairs. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, I do want a waterfall dining table and a, a buffet right here. And then our couch is on order. It's a cloud couch dupe that I found from Coleman Furniture. It's 10 feet long and I'm debating on if I want the ottoman piece yet. So we're only sticking with the actual um, modular couch pieces. When I get it, I'll let you guys know. It probably won't come for like another month or two. We're supposed to put, um, uh, I want a frame TV, the 75 inch frame is gonna go on this wall and two bookshelves and a fireplace. And here's like a little seating area. At first I didn't know what I wanted to do with this, but I know now, oh, I hope it can work. Okay, y'all, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. I want two swinging chairs hanging from the ceiling. I think it'll look cute. I think it'll look cute. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments um, because I didn't really want a day bed because it's really long. And I didn't really want other chairs because I felt like that's odd. So it's like a little nook area that people can just like congregate at when I have like dinner and stuff like that. So I, I think it's a good idea, but let me know. Um, they do have little half Juliet balconies. It's not really a Juliet, it's a little balcony out here. This is on the main level again, so I'm gonna show you guys from this angle what the main level looks like. And then we'll go up the stairs. Now I wish in the um, listing that they had showed the upstairs because I would've actually got the house just based off of it, but they didn't. And I feel like they left out a really great feature because the upstairs has 20 feet ceilings, y'all. Let me back up. So, it's an atrium, and I think it's so nice. So, we're going to turn this way. This is the master bedroom. I have a couple of my mirrors from my old apartment in here. Sorry, it's a lot of stairs, y'all. So, let me breathe. As well as my other plant. Um, and then I have matching closets. So these are Jack and Jill closet, or his and hers closets. Also, I got this mirror from Home Goods for two hundred dollars, and it was a great. Is it thirty six inches? No, thirty two inches by seventy six inches. It is a huge, huge mirror. So I got a great price on that because the one I wanted from West Elm was thirty six by seventy eight, and it was five ninety nine. So I got this for one ninety nine, and um. So yeah, I got two closets right here, y'all. So what we're gonna actually do, sorry, somebody just texted me. What we're gonna do, cause they're pretty big, we're gonna knock this wall down in between and I'm going to have a one long wardrobe. So let me go on the other end. And yeah, so this one's a smaller one. So I'm gonna have one long wardrobe. Ikea is actually sold out of everything right now. So, <laughs> okay. So whenever, if I can't get it from Ikea, then I'm gonna have to have another company come in and do a long closet. But yeah, I want like drawers and, you know, places to hang things and places to organize. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, that's gonna go on that wall. And then here is the master bathroom. Y'all, please don't ask. I don't understand it. I'd rather have had a tub, but it's two shower heads. <laughs> and two benches. It's beautiful, but like, I don't like the shower heads. They don't have enough water pressure for me, so I'm going to change them. And then a water closet, AKA where you potty. And then let me back up so I don't get in this shot. Um, here is the 
vanity. So yeah, that is my master bedroom and bath suite. So now we're going in the hallway. This is where I get to do laundry, which I'm excited about, but they will not be happy that they need to take all these um, appliances up these stairs. I know they like, what? But it's on second floor, so it's awesome. I mean, well, top floor, it's third floor technically. So I don't have to go up and down the stairs for the laundry. This is going to be, sorry, it's a little linen closet right here. It's nothing crazy. So the ceiling height on these floors is nine feet. On the main floor, it's 10. And then, yeah. Then the atrium is 20. So here's the secondary bedroom. It actually has more windows than my master, which I think is so weird, but okay. And I wish they would have centered the windows in the master. But yeah, here's the windows. And it's, it's pretty small, it's 10 by 10. Because it's the middle unit, it's two feet slimmer than the end unit. So this is um, 300 square feet less than the bigger uh, end unit. So the, the other unit would have been a 10 by 12. There's like a little walk-in closet that you guys just saw. It has a, a window in the bathroom, which I don't understand this, but it does. And then it has a full shower and tub. I like that they put soap um, holders in there. I think it's a little old school, but that's cool. Um, but we don't have any toilet paper holders, y'all. I'm like, okay, wait, what? And then there's like a little grassy area down there. They're not gonna build right here, so that's cool. So nobody's gonna block this side. So yeah, that is the secondary room. Well, technically the third room. And then here is the stairs up to the roof. So I'm gonna go upstairs and bear with me because my knee really, really hurts. So there's like a little cutout right here. Here's what it looks like from the top going down. And there's a little cutout right here. I'm gonna put like a wine fridge and keep my outdoor cutlery out here. There's people gonna ask what this door is to. It's just HVAC, nothing fancy. And then here is the rooftop. <sighs> it's really big, y'all. I'm gonna back up so you guys can see the length of it. So there's like, again, there's the HVAC right there. So here's how big it is. I like that they actually have privacy in between the units because some of the units that we were looking at, like you, you can't see in between the units at all. But some of the ones we were looking at in other places, like you could literally jump over this and like, you look right at your neighbor and I thought, like they were this height, like to your waist. And I thought that was stupid because I'm like, why would I want that? Like your neighbors could be in all your mix, but um, so far my plan is like, first off it wraps around. So let's see that. So it does have a cutout here. So what I want right here is more like, oh, so, so many spiders, um, more so like, um, resting area like a, a canopy bed or something like that to just hang out and chill and then right here let me take an angle from hold on so i can show you guys on the other side so yeah okay so right here i want to have my like dining area in this area right here and then on that wall over there i want to have like the cooking area like my little grill or whatever if the hoa allows me i want to have like a grassy wall and I know I can hang string lights. So I want string lights and I want like billowing, billowing um, cloth. Sort of like how somebody has like an awning over here. I don't know if you can see theirs. Like they have awnings, but I want mine's like built in and like white and like hanging from the top or whatever. And then I want to be able to have like a projector or something so that we go watch movies and then on this end, this is where I want to have like a little gathering area. So there would be the bed over in that corner and then like a little sectional couch, a little fire like feature, like just a tabletop fire pit. And so we can do like game night. Um, so that's my plans for the area or whatever, for the, the rooftop, whether I can do this wall completely grassy. I'm thinking of like, hold on me back up. Thinking of having, if I want to do a projector, 
thinking of having like only this side, like the sides grassy and then have the middle um, and the projector, like the middle like with the screen and then the projector can go here. So I'm just debating on how I want to do this. It's all going to be what HOA allows us to do and also what my contractor says I can do that's up to code. But I do know, I, I do know I want the lights up, like hanging up. But I think it's really nice. Now again, they're going to be building on this other side. So that sucks, but the lots only go to the end right here. So I'm still gonna be able to have like greenery or whatever. So it's not gonna be like too construct, I mean, too obstructive, but they are building. So that's it, y'all. That is the house. I'm really happy. I'm really tired. Um, but we're gonna not focus on the negative today and this week I'm going to allow myself to process this um, because what threw me off was that the floor plan I looked for was the end units. And so when they showed me this floor plan, I didn't know the floor plan name. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but the name of this floor plan is actually the same as my friend who had passed away. So I feel like that was a sign and he's here with me. So I am just taking it one day at a time and I'm going to allow myself to be happy right now um, and not focus on like the negative stuff that's going on in my life. This week is just, I get to go buy new stuff. I get to go to Home Goods. I get to go, please don't get me started on USPS because they don't even have, they haven't even given them the keys to the mailbox. We have a cluster box and they haven't came in with the keys. So I get to go on Monday and talk to them. Y'all know they hate me. <laughs> so yeah, I am just going to, have fun trying to find things to decorate here and just enjoy my time right now um and just be carefree but yeah the sky is blue it is sunny it's just it's a good day today so thank you guys for always supporting me because if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be here um i try to give back as much as i can by the time this video is up, I should have my educational courses up, like my online classes for lip gloss, um, soap, my vendors and things like that. Um, I know I'll be doing a pre-sale and it should be half off, I think, so don't quote me, but that's what I'm planning on doing right now. So if you guys, um, you know what I'm saying, want to learn how to invest yourself in yourself or whatever, definitely give those courses a, a look because I, Worked really hard on them for months to try to make sure I gave you guys a lot of information. Um, things that I wish I knew, things that I messed up on, things that I suggest you do. Just so I, you know, you guys sort of like did the guesswork for you guys. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see what else we have in store. I can't wait to have a store and to have my own industrial space. And I can't wait till like the, you know, the pandemic calms down so I can actually teach classes in person and things like that so i can help you guys build your businesses because if i can do it i promise you i didn't even feel like i was making this much progress so if i can do it you guys can totally do it i am just one little person i have a great group of people around me but at the end of the day no matter how great your team is you still have to hold yourself accountable and it's hard as y'all can tell there was a lot of ups and downs but it's worth it so yeah all right, y'all. Y'all be safe. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope your businesses are successful.